Welcome to the final games of the 2024 World Crokinole Doubles Championships. We're coming into this still very, very tight. The Slaters at 32, Tracy and Hutchinson 31, Conrad and Ryman at 30, Keener and Flashback at 28. If you watched game six, you will know that all of those games were knotted up 4-4, very, very tightly contested. If you haven't watched those matches, what on earth is wrong with you? Every point matters in this. Players off to their start. Ryman drains his first open 20. Flashback comes up a little bit short, but makes the valid shot, leaving Conrad a tricky shot. Easy work for him. Gets the takeout, gets it away from the 20 hole. Travis really looking to make something happen here. Ryman content to just hit and stick, leaving Chris a little bit of a tricky shot. Catches some pegs, good action as they say. That is not what Conrad was looking for. Travis sets up to roll in. <laughs> Oh, wow. I don't know if he was going for the 20 or just trying to get in, but regardless, 20 points is 20 points. Ryman tried to follow suit, just slipped out slightly. Chris probably looking for the 20, but that's not a terrible position, although this fella right here, Titanium Fingers McGee, sometimes will just make those look like child's play. Not this time. Travis and Chris in a pretty good position here. Discussion strategy. How exactly do they want to play defense? They've got the hammer after the shot. They should be left with two on. I don't know where he was trying to go, but he has opened the door slightly for Ryman. Oh, <laughs> I think that was the exact result. Just one more peg than Ryman was looking for. Here we are knotted up in the 20 hole. 20 cup. Travis and Chris content to play to the outside. Nice spot. Very, very nice spot there. Conrad looking to carve in. Gets it in. If Travis wants to play aggressive, there may be a takeout 20 there for him, but that is, uh, it's risky. Most important thing there was to secure the off. He may have opened the door for Ryman. Ryman walks through that door. Pressure on Chris now. Pressure, smasher, drains that 20. Oh, oh, what an unfortunate lip out. All Travis needed to secure the two points was the take out, which he does right here. Huge turning point in the game right there. That follow through, sorry, not follow through, drift in 20, angle in 20, ricochet, whatever you want to call it. Chris comes up short and hands an early Christmas gift to Conrad, who says, thank you very much, I'll take that 20. Travis follows suit and comes up short. Ho oh, ho, Ryman with a beautiful follow through 20. Chris settles in, Conrad settles in. Travis settles in. <laughs> you need a new line, Jerry. You need a new line. Oh, coming up a little bit short. Travis definitely needs to make something happen here. They're down 220s. He was trying to make something happen, and what he made happen was he left an opening for Ryman which he took advantage of. They are now up five twenties to two. Chris forced to go for a roll in. A little bit aggressive, loses the shooter. Conrad makes a mistake though, coming up a little bit short. The mistake got passed forward until Ryman finally decided to drain that 20. Six twenties to two, inconsequential shots at this point. Shooting for pride, as they say. Ryman shooting for 20s.
This is more or less practice for the next round at this point. They look well practiced up. Nine twenties. The con men on an absolute tear for 20s in these last few matches. It's almost like they're good at this game or something. Conrad first act, drains that 20. You look over in the background, you'll see uh, Tracy and Hutchinson squared off against the Slaters in the other final game to determine the world Crokinole champions of 2024. Back to this as Conrad and Ryman take a commanding lead. Well, I shouldn't say commanding lead. They're up 220s. Chris gets this, they'll be up 120, but uh, the con man with hammer. So yeah, in a very, very favorable position. Conrad, I'm not sure. I think he would have been going for the 20 there, but regardless, he got himself away a little. Thought he was away far enough, but Travis's touch apparently is on point today as he secures a drop back. Opportunity for a little bump and run here. Ryman not only gets the 20, he leaves his shooter in a very nice position, forcing Chris to go for a follow through. The con men up to 20s, two discs on against the hammer, but that's minor details with everything else that's on their side. Travis and Chris don't really have a lot to work with. They may be able to get in the house, but they're not. Uh, oh, I just need to shut my mouth. I didn't think there was a 20 there, and Chris damn near got it. Travis going for that drift 20. Had to go for it at this point, being down 220s, but he opened the door for Ryman to drain yet another take out 20. Down to inconsequential shots again. Nice thing about that in a time match is it saves time. When you know the match is out of hand, everybody just shoots quick so they can get on and have all the time they need in the next round. Travis, first to start, goes a little long on his open 20. Ryman unable to make him pay for that mistake. Oh, Chris, so close to the follow through. Here we go, Conrad. I think we're gonna see some Conrad defense. Oh, even though he chased it with his finger, that disc would not listen. It went the rest of the way off the board, contrary to the request of Mr. Conrad. This time it is the team of Chris and Travis who've taken a little bit of an advantage in this round. Ryman forced to go big here. He's likely gonna look for that follow through 20, so close. You saw it dance a little as it went over that hole. Oh, that is not what Chris wanted to do. He's leaving Conrad an option here. Conrad has to go through his own. He could drop over and go up the line. Oh, just a little too much heat on that one. Interesting, Travis and Chris opting to take the other one and leave this for, uh, leave that black disc by side the center hole for Chris. But here Ryman is trying to get fancy. Watch this, can he get the little, oh. He was trying to just nudge that black disc in on his way to a valid shot of touching the red. Just a little off, but he was able to disrupt it a little bit for Chris. Interesting. Yeah, that may have been a mistake. Easy to sit here as the armchair athlete, but uh, both Conrad and Ryman are so, so crafty, shifty. Put whatever word you want on it. The point is you leave them a sliver of an opportunity and sometimes they'll feed it to you. As we just saw. 
Chris and Travis were trying to leave that uh, leave that setup for a 20 there uh, to come around to Travis. And uh, but what? Yeah, you saw what happened. You don't need me to say it. Sitting three red discs on. Let's see what Ryman chooses to do here. Is he going to hide on the far side of the board? That could be opening up a sh uh, an opportunity for a really cool shot for Chris if he does. Mm-hmm. You hear Ryman say, that is okay. And I think he's right. Although, let's see what Chris is able to do with this. He carved in and took that setup away from Conrad. Nicely done. Now sitting three red discs on, but the con men with hammer. Nice hit and stick. Everybody with one shot left. Conrad stands up to get a bird's eye view of what's going on here. As it sits, Travis and Chris. Travis and Chris have one in the five, one in the 10. And if they get this takeout here, they're also gonna have one in the 15. It's a good thing they shot fast in the last round to allow time for this little bit of a strategic discussion. This is getting so interesting. And as I've said a bunch of times in these matches, every point matters. I'm glad the first rounds went quicker so they had time to give these decisions the, uh, the time and respect they deserve. Oh, I don't know. That may have been a mistake right there. I think that definitely secured a tie at least. Oh, uh, Conrad was going for the 20. Didn't get it, but he did get the tie. They win this match five to three. That was a lot of fun. We saw a lot of different things there. We saw some uh, 20s battles, and we also saw some really good strategy and uh, thoughtful Crokinole. And that shot right there. Wow. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope you continue to enjoy, like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Comment down below, what do you think? And have you got your plans made yet for next year's World Crokinole Championships? Most importantly out there, folks, make it a great day.